Well, yeah, you know, and I mean, part of the, the charm of Central Florida even is because it's a convergence zone of the, you know, the, the temperate and the subtropical climates. And, uh, you know, with the migratory paths of some of these birds, that uh, this ends up being, you know, the place where they kind of switch places. And uh, so we'll get, uh, you know, a good number of wintering birds, um, as well as a good number of, you know, migrants that just happen to be passing through. And uh, even with the whales, you know, I mean, they come here during those, uh, the winter months. It's not just a birding festival. The 15th Annual Space Coast Birding and Wildlife Festival, presented by the Bavard Nature Alliance, provides numerous birding opportunities, but also a load of other wildlife adventures. Scheduled for January 25th through January 30th, 2012, this nationally recognized festival provides activities for the adventurer and all of us. This past January, uh, we got to see a lot of uh, North Atlantic right whales and even a humpback whale, um, as well as uh, some sea turtles. Um, and, and even on land, of course, you know, when you come back to Titusville and all the surrounding area, we have gopher tortoises, you know, the Florida gopher tortoise and, uh, and a variety of reptiles and amphibians, uh, as well as mammals. You can learn about pelagic birds and more in the classroom and then follow through with an offshore trip. This, like many other field trips and classroom presentations, offers a variety of activities. There are 73 field trips over the run of the six-day festival, with others focusing on beginning birding, cultural and historic sites, forest biodiversity, birding hotspots, the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge, the Rich Grisham Memorial Wetlands in Vieira, and many others throughout Bavard's natural wildlife areas, waterways, and sites in five neighboring counties. The 15th Annual Space Coast Birding and Wildlife Festival runs January 25th through January 30th. For more information, call 321-268-5224 or log on to the festival website for updates and more. This nationally known festival takes full advantage of the numerous wildlife areas in Brevard County. With the festival, I think the fun is when you're with a group of people and they, they're not sure how to identify particular species and, and when you're standing there and you have them looking through your spotting scope. And uh, I think that's really kind of rewarding is to, to be able to turn somebody on to a new species, you know, get them their life bird. Um, and it kind of even puts in perspective, you know, what you may or may not take for granted. Florida's weather is subtropical, but in January, the temperature can drop a little bit. So bring clothes you can layer, comfortable shoes, and a camera for those photos to remember your trip by. For more information, call 321-268-5224 or log on to the festival website for updates and more. One of the great things in the exhibit hall is the Raptor Project. And I know the kids just love going to that. And um, I, I think it's thrilling because a lot of those birds, he, you told me he's re rehabilitated them. Yes, yes. He has rehabilitated all these marvelous creatures. And they are right in front of you. The birds, they are amazingly close and you can see the detail. If you're in Brevard the weekend prior to the festival, plan to attend Rendezvous with the Raptors a one-on-one -on -one with Jonathan Wood and his rehabilitated birds that's happening at the Bavard Zoo. This event is a fundraiser for the festival, so visit the website to learn more. Along with the Raptor Project are numerous keynote evening presentations by well-known experts in their field. Remember, you must register for keynotes, classrooms, field trips, and other presentations. You can do this securely online by mail or fax. We've improved registration over and over, and this year it should be easy as usual. You can either register online or register at the festival. And as I understand, the majority of people are doing the online registration right. so that when they arrive to the event, they can get right in and go to classes and participate on the field trips and enjoy the exhibitor hall. Just a few of the trade show highlights include many nature-based exhibitors, a silent auction, and of course the Raptor Project. For the Explorer and all of us, the 15th Annual Space Coast Birding and Wildlife Festival offers workshops, classes, and field trips that will show you the natural areas and animals 
you've seen or will see during your trip to the Florida Space Coast. Everybody's so accommodating at this festival. It's the main uh, drive, I feel, is just to make sure that the attendees have the best experience of their life. The 15th Annual Space Coast Birding and Wildlife Festival, January 25th through January 30th, needs to be on your calendar. Call 321-268-5224 or log on to the festival website for updates and more. Remember, Florida Space Coast has so much to offer.